Okay, so I'm going to do a quick demo on how to add rim or edge lighting to a painting, and we're going to do it on a separate layer so that if we want to turn it on and off later, we can. So I have a new layer created on top of my artwork, and I'm going to set this layer to normal. Just leave it at what it is. And then I'm going to make sure I have a uh, light color, and usually I like it to be colored instead of just white, but if you want, you can do white as well. So I'm going to go with this bright blue. I'm going to have a brush that I can get fairly, fairly thin, and we're going to have it be along this right side of her and imagine that it's coming from uh, this direction from behind and to the right okay now something to keep in mind is that when we're doing rim lighting like I said before it's not just outlining everything on the image right that's not rim lighting okay that's just outlining it and it's not gonna look right okay rim lighting is thinking about it as if it's being lit from behind and it just happens to make the shape of an edge so uh, she will be lit along the edge like this, right? And these planes that are facing the light source the most, like this part, are going to be the thickest, right? They're going to be picking up the most light, okay? While other planes that turn away from it a little more will get significantly less light, okay? Now, there'll be places like this, like her neck, where you'll need to follow along the lines because there will be light being caught off of that edge. Okay, same with this. Catch a little bit going off of the close. Okay. I'll come down here along her shoulder. More on the close. Okay. then all along this arm I'll bring it down okay go ahead and blow it up a little bit and do a little bit of a fade because it's not typically just a hard hard edge sometimes it is but there's usually at least a little bit of a little bit of a gradation in spots okay that looks good let's get these little feathers here gonna be a real fine line right along that edge of that feather okay we'll do these back here her eyelashes will be catching some just a little bit maybe not that one just do a bit there okay and then along the top of her eyelids since that's its own separate edge that'll be getting just a titch okay maybe not that quite much down there but up here for sure okay and then we're going to go ahead and have this whole eyelash almost seem like it's lit up okay and we can grab that one just a little bit too maybe a little too much okay Add a little bit of texture in here. Cool. And then, if you're feeling like it's maybe a little bit too strong, we can go ahead and do I'll touch this up a little bit more in these spots. Is we can go ahead get some underneath here too as well. And go ahead and thin it up in some spots. Okay. 
it's just going to take work, just practice at it till it looks how you want. Okay. And then, once you're done with that, if you're feeling like uh, it's too strong, you can just, since you did this on a separate layer, you can either lower the opacity a little bit to get it about where you want, right? I think maybe I don't want it all the way full blast, so maybe something more like around there. But before we do that, I'm going to just add a few more spots where I want it to. Um, the shape of her, of her arm right here, I want it to the light to round off a little more. Okay. Um, and maybe on her neck a little bit as well. Cool. So yeah, I can bring that down to where you want it. And then if you end up wanting to turn it on or off, you can. And it's not a problem. Okay? That's how we add Rim Light. Are you looking for even more content on how to become a digital artist? Then check out some of my online courses. There are over 50 hours of in-depth content, and they cover a range of topics from creature design to light and color, and from character design to digital painting. You'll gain access to a private Facebook group for students only, where you can stay motivated and get feedback on your work. Plus, I provide fully responsive support throughout all of my courses, and I offer a 100% no questions asked money back guarantee. So normally my courses range from $100 to $200, but subscribers can take any of them, anytime, any course, for only $12, and once you buy it, you own it for life. There's no time limits, no subscriptions, anything like that. So if you want to show your support and become a better artist in the process, then use the link in the description, or just use promo code YTDiscount on any of my courses. So appreciate you guys. Have a good one.